Hello everyone, and welcome to our late-ish review of the cutie... No, Castle Sweet Castle. Zed Tide is giving us such a hard time. <laughs> Not sure why. I, I, um, just want to call it something else. Even though, uh, I don't really have a reason to. The title actually fits fine. I mean, you know. So, how are we going to go about this? Are we going to want to see what happens first and then uh... diverge? I think we are going to maybe possibly do that. Um, yeah, so... Otherwise, I would mm -hmm. ask how are these animals custody in the first place? <laughs> so, because when I say you'll be at Twilight, make made a tornado go through there to make him dirty in the first place. <laughs> uh, she she casts the wanted needed spell on some mud. Works every time. That would be extremely strange. <laughs> That would be, but I mean, I don't think anyone's ever going to forget that one statement. It works every time. Proof Which means that she has used it before. Exactly. So now we are already off track. So let's talk about what happens in this Okay, episode. so um, we start off and Twilight's being weird and helping Fluttershy clean the animals. And one of the best parts of the episode, right off the bat, Twilight kicks Angel into the mud. And I wish I could watch that part of the episode forever. Right. I thought it was pretty funny. I don't, yeah. I don't hate Angel so much. <laughs> I, I obviously but I really, really hate Angel. <laughs> I do agree that Twilight was acting extremely strange, considering yeah. that she was having Fluttershy out of her promise. I know, seriously. Uh, my new, new headcanon, she just wanted to torture Angel. I, I, I don't know. But I why? still wish she was doing that. That's not really my headcanon, I just... That, that was really cathartic for some reason. I don't know, I hate Angel. I hate, I'm, I'm like most people, he's like... I don't know why anyone would hate Angel, unless they love Fluttershy, but at that point, I don't know how you can hate Fluttershy and hate Angel, that's like, uh, confusing. I don't know, well, okay, so, um, so Twilight's working herself super hard, uh, she's helping Fluttershy, and oh no, she doesn't want to leave, and is being a creepy stalker. Um, it's Pinkie Pie. Yeah. It but, makes a lot more sense than having Fluttershy. Yeah, I mean, considering considering what we discover, um, which is that she's been exhausting herself, and um, I guess we could just get into she doesn't want to leave her castle. So she's been exhausting herself with friends. I personally would pick Pinkie Pie first, because I don't think P Pinkie Pie would mind if you never wanted to leave. Like, you could be like, hey, Pinkie Pie, can I sleep in your bed? And she'd probably say yes. But probably yes. <laughs> you might wake up missing a liver or one two. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I guess that is the downside of um trying to go go to sleep with Pinkie Pie, but anyway, so she has help Pinkie Pie and we go to the morning and they've made pancakes. Uh, also, I can't remember they look all amazing. the jokes. They do look amazing. I can say a lot of the jokes in this episode were really good. Uh, like Twilight, um, falling asleep with the pancakes. And then, um, uh, and someone talks to her and she's like, I'm Pancake. That was good. Yes, I actually, I, I laughed at that one, so. You get a one star plus five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeah. I do like the Rainbow Dash, like Twilight doing the races with Rainbow Dash. <laughs> Rainbow Dash is completely oblivious to the fact that it's... Like, like come on, Rainbow Dash, you could let her win at least once. <laughs> I love that, yeah, she's like, I won, we did a hundred races, and I won every time, and she still kept racing me. Ah. Uh... Yeah. Uh, admittedly, Twilight certainly is a, um... Get good loser, considering she was willing to race Rainbow a hundred times. But she was probably getting better every time. If she keeps keep up like that, she might win at one point. Sure, yeah. They might, they might have to fall asleep. <laughs> well, okay, yeah, that's a possibility. So, anyways, that was also good. Um... Okay, so they move on, and they discover that Twilight doesn't want to leave her house because it's dark and gloomy and new. Right, actually, and no, it's, it's just big. It's, oh, well, it's big. I, I think she had a few arguments, I'm not really sure, but it, it was probably mainly, I, 
I think she mainly stated it was big and uh, she just didn't really. Because like if it was it. dark and gloomy, then they showed it. Not quite for that, Nat. It's the most brightest castle ever. <laughs> okay. Really, it's made out of diamonds, so you would assume yeah. it would be bright. Right, right. Uh, that's true. Well, I mean, I guess it's not exactly dark, but uh, it is bright, and the cold is. The floor is cold, and it's just new and strange to her, though Spike is loving it. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I guess Spike does not care. But like, okay, how does this work for dragons? Because they could swim in lava, but they don't mind cold floors. Um, I'm could not you just sure. Just not give a fuck about temperatures. I'm not sure how to explain it temperature-wise, but I will say that it made sense with normal dragon lore, and including this dragon lore where dragons seem to hoard and sleep on treasure. I don't know why dragons would hoard and sleep on treasure, but they do. I guess that is too. Well, at least it's more like he sleeps inside of treasure. Well, it's yeah. It's just more like if that dark from the dark taste left <laughs> inside the treasure <laughs> horse thingy and then just drown in it. Yeah, that's fair. Honestly, though, I think he would. I think Scrooge McDuck would build him a house out of money. Um... I'm surprised he didn't, honestly. I know they didn't want to make the cat. I guess they just didn't want to make the mansion look gaudy, because Scrooge McDuck would totally live in a house of money. New head cannon. Yeah, new new head cannon. <laughs> Anyways, so um, yeah. But either way, Spike claims he has been sleeping like a baby. Um. But she is a baby. <laughs> Yeah, he is a but baby. But baby sleep terrible. Yeah, another that great joke. Was joke. Good too. Yeah, that was. And another good jokes. I give him that. Yeah, like I said, the humor in this episode was really spot on. It was um, probably one of the funniest episodes in a while. Then yeah. again, that there haven't been many episodes in a while, but definitely there was a lot more jokes than the uh, new than you know the. Oh, season. I like that one more because. Oh, well, yeah. It's more eventful. This... Either way. Either way, so, yeah, they, um, they, Twilight's friends decide that they are going to decorate the castle, uh, but they tell Spike to, um, fuck off with Twilight for a while, because, you know, they want to surprise her. Speaking of, speaking of Spike, Which, actually. In hindsight, it's a huh? terrible idea. Like, even before we get to anything, I just have to say, just say, he's saying that out, like, why wouldn't you want the one who owns the castle to be there to tell you how he, they want the castle decorated? Uh, yeah, I mean, I... It's hard to, like, I can't really put an argument against that. Um, obviously there wouldn't have been much of an episode if Twilight just... I mean, didn't just, we already like, learn that yeah. with the rarity, that having other people tell you how to, like, do your thing is kind of a bad idea? Yeah. Well, then again, I guess that also brings up the argument. I, I'm kind of surprised. I don't know why Twilight... Re she didn't even seem to consider redecorating her house. She was... Just, it was really weird for Twilight that her first thought was to avoid her new house rather than, I don't know, decorate it or try and make it her own. I'm going to assume maybe she's never had to decorate a house before. Yeah, but maybe she just always lives in the libraries. And yeah. She doesn't need to decorate libraries. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Books are decoration enough for her. Which makes the question why she didn't just make the cast into a giant library. In fact, that would actually be kind of cool. Like, having a castle that is just books everywhere. Yeah, well, I mean, that is basically what her last house was, so I don't know, but. Either way, the, the episode took a different direction, so Twilight goes out with Spike. I want to mention something else I actually forgot about, though. <laughs> uh, you probably noticed Spike came out with a, um, when he first woke up, he came out with a, uh, rarity plushie. I did not actually notice that. Oh, wow. I'm surprised. Yeah, I wasn't well, even I was playing that was distracted, oh. so I did miss it. Yeah, that's fair. But, um, yeah, so I, I liked that little touch. I, actually, we do. That's kind of weird in the pony world, and I mean, I'm not gonna argue against it. It was really cute, but that just sounds weird, isn't it? Having like a plushie of someone you know, and and just like coming up and being like, "Hi, I have a plushie of you." 
Right, I think that would be weird even outside of the pony universe. <laughs> well, that that's what I mean yeah. specifically. Is um in real life I in this case, but I maybe guess. I mean here it's like they are like super famous. Yeah. Six, so maybe it's like common <laughs> courtesy that right. they just have like plushies of the main six. Maybe so. I mean, like I... maybe this is like going of having like a plushie of Barack Obama. Yeah, it's possible. I mean, I wouldn't be. <laughs> Let's still... Which I'm sure every good American <laughs> has a plushie of Barack Obama. Oh, totally. My bedroom is filled with Barack Obama plushies <laughs> and posters. Just a baby. Ah, uh, but um. So, yeah, what what else was I saying? Oh, I don't know. But I, I guess the only other thing I was going to mention was I guess Scootaloo might have, like, a Rainbow Dash plushie. Yeah, that they had a Rainbow sense. Dash, like, here yeah, and all that. Yeah, so they probably have plushies. They better have plushies now. Um, <laughs> but that would be cool. Okay, so uh, that's not really important to the episode, but it was another just nice the touch. And Sleepy Spike was pretty amusing. Uh, okay, so... Spike and <clears throat> Twilight Sparkle go on their day, and we have our song. And the song's, I'd, I'd say it's pretty good. I um, don't feel like much. Well, a, a lot of people have mixed feelings. I personally, um, a lot of people like it from what I've heard. I personally actually kind of like the um, season premiere song, even though no one really seems to remember it. I don't remember it. That's a form of a lot of his songs, so I don't remember them. Yeah. We might like some of them come mm -hmm. back later. The one was the rarity and a pony every pony should know that one. Right. Which I didn't care for, but at least I remember it even up to this day. Yeah. But then other ones I just forget. Yeah, we'll see how this one does for you. And I can see why people forget the season premiere one, but it was just such a fitting song and I don't know. There was Something really enjoyable about it for me, yeah. <laughs> it was well, adorable. It wasn't about how creepy we are. Or no, not adorable. I it it was really fitting and um really, I don't know what the word is. It was it, it was just it really fit the tone and um you know was a good way to show that oh hey yeah the town's pretty um. Sounds creepy. Already knew that, but pretty now adorable. you get it in song. Good, pretty adorable with their um sameness. Yeah. Yes. So, so either way, they suck. What suck? Huh? They suck at redecorating. Causes. Oh yeah, yeah. Everyone brings in their own thing that they want to decorate the castle with, and um. Yeah, at first I thought it was going to. It, it took a rather. This episode took a lot of interesting turns, because I assumed it was going to directly go for the art of the dress approach, but it didn't really. But uh, it did start with everyone decorating in their own way, and we see that obviously with everyone's things, it's just crowded and clashing and stupid. And, and, and Applejack freaking brings in dirt, which... <laughs> what even... I don't know, like, I don't remember Applejack's barn being, <laughs> I mean, and Applejack's house being full of dirt. I don't know. I think she was just trolling. In fact, most of these were probably just trolling. I think because so. Because I don't see many of them being that moronic. Yeah, I... <laughs> probably like, come on, Rainbow Dash, I, you gotta be trolling. Yeah, probably so. Though, come on. I mean, I would love my house full of Rainbow Dash, um... <laughs> stuff. Trophies? Trophies, yeah, why That's not? That's a little bit strange. Um, so I did, I did like that line where, like, oh, I, I consider more like our trophies with my name on it, yeah. permanently. <laughs> exactly. I, I, I know probably sounds weird, but I, I'd probably keep around a Rainbow Dash trophy. Why not? But it doesn't have Rainbow Dash on it. It just yeah, is a trophy just... of Rainbow Dashes. Yeah. Oh, well, that's fair. I guess she would probably have more use for him. Either way, so yeah, they all decide that they're going about it all wrong, and they've spent quite a bit of time doing this. Well, 
Spike's been taking Twilight to the spa, and um... it's a form of making songs. No one like, like it was in the universe. Like they were so busy singing that they didn't even know they were doing Terry <laughs> up to like six hours later. Yeah, apparently songs count as canon montages. You start singing and you just like look out the window, and it seems like three minutes, but it's really been like a day and a half. Um, but anyways, yeah, so, um, Spike and Twilight at the spa, that's actually something I, I like, um, because the show's doing a good job of, uh, it's still at least doing a decent job of showing that, um, well, I, I don't know if this is true, but, um, I'd say at least this episode did a good job of showing that they're not, like, all about stereotypes, because last episode, Spike was all about football, and now he's all about, um... And, and now he's into the spa scene, and I'm like, you know, that's that's fine. I kind of like that, actually. But yeah, they're still people. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, I know the drinks are not people. <laughs> they're slaves. But well, like... yeah. Slaves can enjoy manicures, You've probably too, paid for this. <laughs> Wait, this. This was probably all taken off his, like, next month's food rations. I, I assume so, yeah. <laughs> then again, who knows if uh, Princess even has to pay at the spa. Write it down, but it doesn't mean she's going to take it out of Spike's payment. Oh, well, that's For educational true. purposes, you know? Yeah, yeah. It teaches them about the hardships <laughs> of life. Speaking about being taught about the hardships of life, uh, apparently Spike should have been looking at what he pointed at, because he asks for, like, a, um... It's just really amazing that they knew what he, like, pointed out as like yeah. is it normally to stop and you like I might want to buy this and then suddenly food shows up in front of you like <laughs> I didn't even ask for it yet yeah that is that is true um but yeah Spike inadvertently asks for like a deep rock tissue massage or something and uh both biceps just pops out which yes now we know what a job is like, yeah outside of being crazy yeah, exactly. <laughs> Outside of all of the other stupid things he's done, now I, I think we actually have his canon job as being the uh, heavy-duty massager of the... How long uh, is he going to keep that job, considering he's also a wrecking ball? <laughs> I don't know. To be fair, um, that was funny, but that seems like it's really bad for business if every time someone wants one of those massages, just you breaks. That's How many want those massages in this place? It's like, I'm... Big Mac, Big Mac, Big Mac. Like, every yeah. single day, just Big Mac <laughs> shows up. It's uh, our only customer. I would, yeah, that probably so. Um, I'm assuming it's got to take a tough pony, because Spike didn't come out of it looking too good. And I don't think he can do that. I'm like, not to be sexist, but I assume none of the mares want that. Yeah. Uh, no, that's fair. I, I assume not as well, considering Twilight is just like, now nah, I'll take normal massage. You have fun though, Spike. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, I wanted to ask, how did, where did you get that poster? Poster? Yes, the, the one that she hangs out with all the made six on it, in the oh, clouds and all that. the picture? I don't yeah. know. Honestly, um, I... I'm not sure where she got that picture, but it's amazing and I want it, but, um... I'm sure, I'm sure they'll make a friend of it one day. Someone. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure someone will, because, um... That, that picture was amazing. It was, uh... <laughs> I'm honestly, that's one of the few episodes, the parts of the episode I'm confused on, is, um... Especially when we get to the ending, but they they basically decide that they don't they're you know taking out stuff because it's too crowded. So and, keeps it. and they take out the picture, and I'm like, why though? It's but it was pointless. We all know how they look. We know how they look. <laughs> but I'm like, what does Rarity do with that at night? Why does she have it? Because that means Rarity just has a picture yeah. of like a friend's well, like posing. I I don't think that's really weird. I mean, it's, it's... not that weird, but Everybody... it made it look it look more like <laughs> something we would have, not they would have. Like you don't normally, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I see your point. It was honestly a really cute picture, but it was um, it was a very meta it picture because it, it looks is... like something you would buy in like a 
store that is like um, memories of these ponies or whatever. Like, right. you know, like, it looked like something a fan would buy, not someone who is actually part of the group. Right, right. I see what you're saying. It's not just normally, like, posing with the friends. In fact, I think what I, I think would have been... Hmm. I, I don't know if it would have been a nice touch or not, but I almost feel like they could have just used the, um, you know, the picture they have at the beginning of the episode kind of thing and been like, oh, Which that's the... Uh... They could have done it too, and there would have been other ponies on it. Yeah. Because that one doesn't have just... Not, I, well, I, I honestly want to go to the pre Yeah, they could have gone. this opening. Yeah, that's true. The, the, uh, this and last season's opening has the group picture. Yeah, which, I mean, it would have actually been nice touch if they'd done the season one, season two, season three openers. Right, exactly. Picture. That's, uh, that's what I thought. I, I agree. That, um, that would have made more be, sense. They, they would have to, like, staple wigs uh, on that picture because otherwise people would get sad. Who, who knows? Maybe that picture existed because they are actually selling it. Like, I doubt it, but it would be funny to walk into, like, a Toys R Us and there's just a picture of the, the main six. Wait, like I said, if they have plushies, then maybe that is too. Yeah, yeah. Ma 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 maybe, in fact, they don't say one a giant. Maybe Routy <laughs> actually owns, like, a uh, second hand, and it actually owns, like, a really cheap store where she says, um, if you were, six Yeah, back. yeah. Admittedly, if you were, like, um, one of the ex-ponies who saved the world constantly, and you made... Uh, dresses and stuff. I am. I don't see any reason why you wouldn't. Um, I I'd assume people come to Rarity all the time, and she's like, "Oh my gosh, you're you're one of those world-saving ponies. Can I get an autographed dress?" Like, oh my gosh. And then no, no, I'm gonna make you plushy. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So maybe so... she made the plushie for Spike. Yeah. Maybe that's... that's like the gift for the ruby that he gave to her in that one episode. Yeah. Uh, that is definitely a headcan we can go for. Especially because I don't remember if we saw what Rarity actually gives Spike. But yeah, Nothing. it could be a birthday present. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, yeah, he's a slave. Absolutely nothing. And we, and we, and I mean, that episode shows why dragons are slaves. You start giving them shit and they, they turn into monsters, so they've, they've got to So, so like, they actually have, like, a justified reason to make them slaves. This is amazing. <laughs> exactly. So we're uh, getting off track. Either yeah. way, they suck at fixing things and then they have the perfect idea. Right, exactly. They have the most amazing idea, and they uh, tell Spike Grave to. Lobby. <laughs> they tell Spike to distract Twilight more, uh, or at least Rainbow Dash gives a, gives him a signal, so he's like, "Hey, Twilight, let's go and buy some beds." Oh wait, before that, actually, there is a um, there there is a nice scene where they briefly visit their old house. And it's actually pretty heartfelt. Um, the only thing I'm so confused by is no one clean this goddamn house up. <laughs> Uh, like, I don't know, it's just in the middle of your town, you just have yeah. a blown up Well, building. unfortunately, we don't have an accurate time representation, but I will state that, um, what was months for us, it might have just been, like, a few weeks for them. I mean, okay. yeah, I, I, I'm kind of taking it that way, is that this chronologically is pretty close to the last season. Especially... I guess that makes sense considering that she's still getting used to the castle. Right, exactly. But it still felt kind of sad that the house had just been abandoned there being like <laughs> a small ruin. Like, yeah. No one wanted to fix it or like <laughs> do anything. Right, right. Yeah, it was it was um sad, but I I think that was um a really good se a thing of the episode was. No, I'm wondering. This is a little bit. <laughs> To, uh, going like off track, but did they do that because Hasbro wanted to sell a new castle? Um, because I'm now imagining that like the Hasbro executive is like a god in space, <laughs> and he like shoots a giant laser down and blows up the library. Um, like, there, you have a new castle. They, I'm not sure. Um, some people speculate that, uh, I think, I don't really know if they're selling the new castle, I guess I'd have to check the toy lineups, because if they are selling the new castle, then I assume that Hasbro specifically wanted a new castle, but, um... Because it's pretty, yeah, I'm just thinking, because, like, for a show that seems 
if I may say so, pretty afraid of change. It just blew up like the main house of someone. Like, like what? Imagine if like, I mean, I don't watch Pokemon, but if like that doctor's guy's like lab just got blown up in one episode and he gets a new lab. Yeah, that Professor Oak. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Professor Oak. I I would say something about that, but honestly, I've watched all of one season. I, well, not one, but I've watched the original Pokemon show. And I'm, Does this I, lab ever get blown up? No, no. See, but, far the case. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess, but, you know, that that's like the, there's like two seasons dedicated to the original show, uh, and then they go off and do the other regions and stuff so, that so, I'm not really getting into. Sweet Epic Egg is gonna get nuked, and then they get a new farm, <laughs> and then she becomes a Sherry farm instead. Probably, probably not, but honestly, I think they did a pretty good job with the um, change on the castle. I'm not even complaining, I just, it came to mind that that was, now that if that was the reason, I'm like, that's a little bit strange. <laughs> yeah. Like, I guess it's what I was saying is, seeing that scene, it was kind of sad, and the show is not normally sad. Right. And that's why I'm like, is it, did, how, why did you guys decide to make a sad scene? Like, what well, was your logic behind it? I, I honestly, mechanically it makes sense, but I, I guess I see your point where it is, it, it is pretty abnormal um but hey i'm not complaining having a sad scene was actually pretty cool yeah i'm not complaining either i'm just questioning yeah Damn. either way they dig up graves yeah yeah so um twilight goes to buy spike a bunch of shit that he doesn't actually want which is a new bed and um the rest of the main six go to dig up the sweet uh no they go to sweet dig up gossip. golden oaks library um and discover all of the dead bodies that twilight had under there that comic was amazing, which is, it, it ruined this episode hours for me, because the whole time that's what my headcanon actually was, what, was, what they were actually doing. Oh, uh, that's pretty great. I actually saw some, some fan art about that, that Twilight was like, I miss the ghosts that used to haunt me every night. Uh, it is my new headcanon for Twilight now. <laughs> Yeah. Not actually, but it, it's it's one of the alternate versions of Twilight. Right, exactly. Um, Either way, instead they dig up the roots. Yeah, they dig up the roots and place them in Twilight's new castle. Which I don't know, that must have been a lot of work. Yeah, well, it seems like a lot of work. Honestly, it's one of those things that seems like it would have been easier with Twilight herself because she's the most magical of the group. I don't think Rarity is strong enough to. Rarity was able to carry two shovels. <laughs> oh and man! Be like, Why would you carry the other three? <laughs> yeah. Rarity sucks, but uh, no. So um. They do that, and finally Twilight gets back, and they have um. And they reminisce about, uh, memories. And by that, I mean they, they've decorated the root with a bunch of, uh, of their memories in crystal form. Or, well, I guess general gem form, not specifically crystals, but yeah. In a rather interesting... Thanks. Yeah. Honestly... I don't know where they got the images from or how they did that. Yeah, I don't know how they did that, but they teach a lesson, and I think people are going to find it a mixed bag depending on personal opinions, but I actually like it. Um, I like it better than the lesson in Tradio, Tradio, which was basically the same thing, but it's the idea that a home is, you know, it's not just a building, it's memories, and, um... That definitely holds true for a lot of people. Um... <laughs> okay, <laughs> I uh, I don't know. I don't. I'm I'm different. I I'm different. I I would say. It's the, it's an interesting topic for me because I don't really feel like I have a home. Mm. As weird as that sounds to say like that, but I mean I don't have a set place where I'm planning to stay for the next right. five years or anything yeah. like that. 
but I have items that I will keep always yeah. with me. So as long as I have those items, I guess I don't care. But exactly. at the same time, also not a hoarder, so... Yeah. I'm kind of middle ground. I don't think you need something to keep memories, but sometimes it is nice to have them either way. Right, right, exactly. Um, I, yeah, I'm not saying that you absolutely need things to keep memories, but it's, it's an interesting idea, and, um... Yeah, I mean, I think it's a good way to try and get used to a new house is, you know, try and make memories there and remember... But I guess uh, it's quite so interesting for me. I never... That is, like, a few times that I've moved. I right. never in my life had a problem getting used to a new house. In fact, I always find it exciting to move because <laughs> I always like being in a new place because it's new. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Well, like I said, it's a, um... It's one of those weird messages where it feels like it a, to uh, some right, exactly. It's a mileage may vary kind of thing, but, um, yeah, it's not, it's certainly not a bad message, especially if you're someone who's trying to help someone get used to a new house. It's, you know, it's an idea to try, not specifically if, what if you it, Yeah, do. if you'd want to get someone get new, if you want to have someone get new, used to a new house, Drop the old one, dig up the foundations, <laughs> hang it on the ceiling, and then print out some images of well, the past. Okay, maybe not exactly that, but you know, maybe come over with a photo album, or give them some photos, or um, you know, some yeah, something. Yeah, see, that's like one well, like, I never, I don't have any photos, because right. I just can't be bothered, photos are useless. Yeah. See, that's like mine. <laughs> Right. But right. either way, it was, I saw that the whole, I did not, because of that, I did not care yeah. for the whole roots and memories thing. I actually saw that the second resolution that they had afterwards was a lot better. Yeah, the, the second resolution was something that I think will be good for anyone. Like, I think anyone can just understand that. That's more how so, I am. It's yeah. that they have, that she, every room, or like, Rooms are decorated by specific ponies inside right. the castle to represent those ponies, and as such, it's more like mementos of that specific pony, yeah, rather um... than just mementos of general memories. And that's how <laughs> I am. I have things that remind mm. me of specific people. Yeah, except for Pinkie Pie, who is a terrible person. Yeah, yeah okay. And... She's just a memento of uh, Pinkie Pie. I'm gonna kill you one day. <laughs> well, seriously, she planted her stupid party poppers everywhere. I'd be pretty annoyed, because I, I imagine she probably planted, like, 20 of them under Spike's bed. <laughs> but should Spike be annoyed? Or Twilight be annoyed? Because I, it's like, no. Spike, can you stop screaming already? <laughs> I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> yeah. That's a good question. Like, if uh, you scream one more time, I'm gonna... Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe that's just how uh, Twilight gets to sleep, is Spike screams of pain. That is actually also a pretty good headcanon. Yeah, see? This episode just bring out all kinds of headcanons. I don't know how this episode made Twilight into a villain, but it did. <laughs> uh, I guess so. I saw... Again, <laughs> I, I just saw the post again because I'm having the episode one side and lean back on. The mm -hmm. Epic in a cloud. Goddamn <laughs> hags. <laughs> Well, one can only assume that they all got there via the cloud walking spell. So, everybody's like, I need you to make an image <laughs> cast this cloud making spell so we can pose at the cloud to take a picture <laughs> so I can sell it illegally. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, that's, that picture sells for big bucks in the Rainbow Dash fan club. But even though Rainbow Dash is only like one corner of it. <laughs> Yeah. This is this is more like let's discuss rarities weird scheme. Oh yeah, yeah. Twilight main amazing. I like the main. Oh yeah, it, yeah. I, I I actually originally I don't I wasn't sure about mm -hmm. it, but there's something cute about it. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice main style. I didn't have a lot of opinions about it. I was a bit much bigger fan of just pancake Twilight. Pancake Twilight, but yeah, but pancake. <laughs> it's not as cute. <laughs> like, I don't know. Should we kiss the main? Like it looks like kind of like. It's a weird thing to say, but it looks like a rock star main, or like it looks like if someone was not Twilight yeah. at all. Yeah. It looks like a main I would assume um, that yellow Pegasus would to have. Not not Fluttershy, the other one, the one that's fast. 
the yellow Spitfire. oh right right yeah that's pretty accurate i've heard several comparisons to things like that or things like um anime but yeah it's definitely a very different main style for twilights and i i kind of like that Despite even for a brief careful. thing <laughs> He Not didn't. like Rarity main, but he's like, oh god, it's Rarity main. <laughs> I'd bang that main anywhere. <laughs> hey, it's canon, we didn't make it, they did. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, um, anyways, yeah, so everyone's decorated part of the castle, and, uh, that's that. That's pretty much the episode. Yeah. So, in this episode, we have accomplished that Twilight does no longer hate her castle. Right. Sh exactly. Again, no books. <laughs> again, well, again, I, mean, I guess she has a library. They mentioned mm -hmm. that she has a library, but we never see the library. Yeah, I assume and we'll see the library. <laughs> yeah, we never see Alicious because of reasons, and we'll probably eventually see the library, but I am surprised we didn't really see that. Not so really it, sure it's why. just we have literally never seen it. Like I, I didn't yeah. even think there was a library in this castle because there's only like two rooms in this castle by the looks of it. Yeah, I I wonder if I'm hoping we'll get to eventually see more of the inside because, I mean, I'm kind of surprised they didn't show off more of the castle and the different rooms everyone decorated. In fact, I think that's um one Maybe. thing they should have done in the climax is shown all of the different uh, decorated rooms. They should have, yes. Also, because again, I want to see the goddamn library. <laughs> I want to know what the hell is wrong with that library that Twilight is not sleeping in it. Like, is Alish... the library just filled with, like, lava or something? Alish's dead body. That's my headcanon now. <laughs> yeah, man, like, did she care, Alish's? I don't know. Maybe Owlish maybe, is maybe, just... Maybe maybe she's mm -hmm. like, you abandoned me in that final <laughs> fight. I'm going to make you pay. Oh, fuck, I said uh, Maybe, maybe so. Uh, I don't know. Owlish just, he just has disappeared, and I miss mm -hmm. him. I'm sure Spike misses him. Like, Spike probably quiet about him. Maybe yeah, not. you know, Spike actually got kind of close to Owlish just from what we saw in their last encounter with each other. When was that? That was, uh, last season, Rarity, uh, Rarity's episode. I forget what it was called, but yeah. I remember it. I don't remember it just by that description, because I did not tell you much. <laughs> um, I know. It, it's the episode where Rarity gets the evil book, and, um... Oh, yeah, episode, that one. I gotta rewatch yeah. that, because I actually barely remember it. Oh. It's actually a pretty good episode, yeah. I remember liking it, but now we're getting off track. Either way, so it's on the episode. Uh, it's on the episode, uh... I like it more than I did before we started this video. <laughs> That's kind of funny, but yeah, I, uh, honestly really like the episode myself. It just, I'm in a very difficult position with the show where I still like the episodes, I respect the jokes, and, like, it's still fun to watch, and I would never, like, I, like, I still like everything, it's still My Little Pony, I had. But at the same time, it's also still My Little Pony, and... It is not unheard of that we have made fun about the fact that Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon and all these other shows have not changed in about yeah. 10 years. <laughs> and yet we sit here and watch Ride of the Pony, which has not changed in the five years we have watched it. Yeah. Like, like I gotta um... at least point out to you guys <laughs> that we are in a fucking treadmill, and I don't understand why. I why? mean, like, well... We can have a change of pace. Uh, to be fair, I guess I wasn't upset with that personally, because it's... I'd say it's really early in the season to judge. I'm hoping they change but it up it, it more. Just, it but... was such a jarring jump from the one before. That's why oh. I think it threw me off. Because I saw the way that they had set it up. That we were just here about like, the map again. Or like where I, like maybe Celestia would say something about the map or like anything. But no, the map doesn't exist in this episode. Yeah, it's in the background, it's... but it's never even mentioned. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, and I'm just afraid that now we're going to go back to, oh, life, 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 life for 24 yeah. episodes. And then it's like, no wonder that FIFA, well, it, like, it becomes more and more every season to remember what actually happens because every episode is just kind of its own little story. And we now had like over 100 of those. Yeah, um, well, not quite over 100. Yes, but... we did. No, we? no, we in, like we... season five. Yeah, we're in season five. We're getting oh, yeah, to a hundred. Yeah, season was like really short. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. The third season was short, otherwise we would have reached 100, but I know we haven't reached 100 because I won't spoil it for anyone. I've heard rumors that episode 100 is supposed to be a unique episode. Whatever um, that means. Yeah. Isn't every episode unique? Well, I, I guess I could... Say, Again, don't, don't yeah. say spoilers. Okay. We could just leave it at... Li yeah. Just leave it at my little comment, which is probably shoot me in the ass. Yeah. Well, anyways. Um... I, I'm, I'm hoping we'll see change in the episode, but... On, I mean, in the season. But honestly, I wasn't that off-put. Just... I don't know. Mainly because I honestly thought it made sense. The last episode for a family show was really... It wasn't really big conflict-wise, but it was a really... For this show, it was probably a very thought-provoking episode, and a rather intense episode for younger audiences. So I thought it made sense to take a step back and have an episode where it's like, Ah, oh, hey, uh, Twilight hates her castle. And I was like, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, honestly, I'm, um... Honestly, if they didn't always start the season with a big premiere, I feel like this would have been the, um... I, I guess people pro Well, admittedly, people wouldn't have liked this as much as the season premiere, but it probably almost sort of made more sense. Uh, well, that's not true, I guess actually. I kinda... Uh, hard to say. I, I agree a little bit on that idea. Again, it would have been weird as a season premiere, but I thought the season premiere was weird as a season premiere, so... I'm a little bit torn on the whole idea. Yeah. It just, it felt weird. I don't know, like, something just felt weird to me about it. Like, just, it was not the episode that I expected at this time. <laughs> there, clearly, there wasn't enough, um, <laughs> clearly there wasn't enough angel abuse. I mean, more of it. I, I, I didn't even show up in the episode till, like, after the first few seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm just saying that, uh, that, that's, that's, I don't know, I know a lot of people, there are probably a lot of people with mixed opinions on that, but that was still just great for me, because, I don't know, you know. That's Angel's a jerk. It was okay. Yeah. But, I don't know, that, that, that was my thoughts on that. I just, I'm just gonna be the voice of saying that, let's see where this goes, but if you're gonna always make fun about other shows not going up, then we should also make fun about the show that we like not going up. <laughs> yeah, and well, I just wanna well, point mm -hmm. out, because this is the one that I always see, it's like, yeah, but you're forgetting the show is a show for little girls, and like that, so you can't switch your target audience. And yes, I don't mind asking them to switch your target audience, but in all fairness, why the, like, other things go up with a target audience too. Why shouldn't this go up with a target yeah. audience? Harry Potter started as a children's book. By the end of it, it's not the same story anymore. Harry Potter book right. whatever is not the same children's book that Harry, Bo Harry Potter book one is. Because your target audience is now like 10 years older. Right, right. It's been five years. Like, if the original target audience was eight years old, which I'm going to assume that like, mm. the target audience, maybe, I don't know what the fuck. What would you say was originally My Little Pony Friendship with Magic target mm. audience? I'd say that's accurate. I'd say then, probably like, those little are like girls. 12 now. Yeah. I'd say probably little girls, I'm probably overestimating, but I want to say 8 through 13. Eh. Yeah, if you say, but if you just say 8 then, like they would yeah. be like 12 now, at least. Right, right. And you, that doesn't, like you can go up a little bit with your stories. Yeah. That's what I feel. Uh, I, I agree. I don't know. I kind of, uh, we will see where they go, and I'm hoping they um don't have the same problem of last episode. I mean, last season, I'm really bad with that. But, um, I honestly feel like they kind of might be, because honestly, I was, um, I've heard a lot of mixed opinions. I was surprised by the, uh, last episode. Kind of just, um, creepy. It, it sounds weird, but there was, um, really looking at those faces that, that all the townspeople were making made me personally uncomfortable. It didn't make, it didn't like horrify me, but I was surprised how there's just so something so off about them that it was almost disturbing. It was almost hard to look at. I guess that is reasonable. I don't know. If I guess maybe you're thinking for. <laughs> Maybe, maybe I am, because I know I was, I was definitely with her when she got into the town. Those, she's like, their smiles are off, and I'm like, yeah, they are off. I don't like it. But, 
I agree. That's why I was well off. I thought that was the point. <laughs> well, but yeah, maybe, that is maybe, the point. maybe I've been um, <laughs> what is that? Uh, maybe I've like have been hardened to these things by the Digimon season four or whatever the hell that one was. Digimon I season. Four. I don't know if you ever watched Digimon, but that was the one. Like, there's like the fourth season. I think it's like the third incarnation of it, and mm-hmm. they go off the walls with that. Oh. But that was like the best one of all of them. Yeah, and that's what yeah. I'm saying. Like Digimon did it, where like they kind of grew up with the time that the show yeah, went on. They did. But like by the time that they reached that one, it had gone like more mature-ish a little bit. Yeah. But it was still like you can watch it as a kid. Right. And it was the best one. And I'm like, why? Like I would like to see that with someone else. But then yeah. the then show went completely to shit. But whatever. yeah, <laughs> it is. I it is unfortunate the following sees the following series weren't as great. But I I agree. The uh, Digimon third season, and I have yeah, I've seen Digimon. I mean, it wasn't the third season. I just don't know. I I the third. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting all mixed up with episodes and season and series, but yeah, I want to say that one was called Digimon Tamers, but I'm probably wrong. I think it was. Yeah, okay. So Digimon Tamers, the third series, was the, the by far the best. It was really it cool. Was and, um Yeah, it was the pinnacle, and they did, uh, they actually, I agree, they did have some very creepy moments, um, and Visage. even, yeah, exactly, and had character death, um... Character which death. I, which I'm and... not saying that I wanted it in My Little Pony. Yeah. Again, I'm just saying that. Well, which are we sorry? Because like, if I was 12 years old and like mm-hmm. I started watching, it, like I mean, that's what it was for me. But like, yeah. I got like really sick. Like I mean, I used to watch my um, One Piece as a kid. Yeah. And I'm like, this show never went anywhere. Like everything <laughs> just goes in a circus, and yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, it goes in a circle, and. Pokemon, I didn't watch, but it goes in a circle. Like that yeah. just as a kid, it always upset me. Why can't the show? Why are we mm-hmm. like in this idea where cartoons cannot go, like cartoons cannot yeah. move forward because no. they gotta just be an infant money treadmill? Yeah, I mean, I I agree. Actually, I see your point. I mean, that is one of the most frustrating things for I don't know anyone who's actually a fan or ever was a fan of Pokemon, even not getting into the game, just getting into the show itself because the issue with the show, like literally. Um, the show is not changing, you're right. Ash is still ten years old. They state this in the show. Ash has been ten years years old forever. (laughs) That is amazing. (laughs) Yeah. It's like, come on, you you can't have an age, you can't have another character. And I mean, what I'm saying is just, Mm -hmm. okay, like, I know this is, like, not about the episode, but this is, like, a general topic I want to discuss. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, okay, you can make the argument... But my Smile Little Pony, it's supposed to stay for little girls. And if we'd make the show grow up with our with the eight years, what are we gonna do in four years? When the eight years old are now seventeen years old and they don't wanna watch my little pony anymore. Then end the show and reboot it. Yeah. Is that such a big problem? <laughs> like, like my little pony friendship is magic is within its own continuity, let it keep going, grow up with the audience. And when you, when that doesn't make money anymore, or when you just don't think it won't work anymore, you can end the show. It's not it, it's not like it's a fucking crime to end friendship as magic. Yeah. I mean, I know for most points that's like, oh my god, lynch him because he wanted to end friendship as magic. But I rather have friendship as magic and like, rather than have it go on for eternity. Yeah, I honestly I agree, and I know most people want. And I'm still loving the show, and I agree. It isn't. Uh, it's not really about this episode, but um. But it's about the general just this conflict between the last episode and this one, and I think that it, like the show that big difference in what the what the show could be about because right. the last one was still fitting for the same target audience that this one is. But they are both very different in what they try to achieve or what right. they kind of go for. Yeah, yeah. So it is the kind of thing where we'll have to see how it goes. I agree. This is pretty much the the season is a big turning point on that to see if change um can happen. Um, but I, I I see your point, and honestly, I agree. Though I know a lot of people wouldn't, because I'm actually. I believe there was a voting thing, and a lot of people said they'd rather uh, have the show keep going until it was bad rather than have it end. But I, I think I'd right, rather I have. I've made a voting thing for that way back in the day. Yeah. Not I... a big one, but I asked people. Okay. In like season two, I did that. Yeah. 
Um, admittedly, maybe that was just because it's season two, but now that we're all the way to season five, I am kind of to the point where I, I still really love the show, but I would rather see it end eventually than have the same issue as a show like, um, Spongebob, where, honestly, Spongebob, Pokemon, up. yeah, Spongebob, Spongebob never goes have ended off. after the first movie. That movie yeah. was like a piece of... That... <laughs> that movie was like the pinnacle, and that's why I mean, like, sometimes you have the pinnacle, and then you can't. It was like Digimon Tamers. It was a pinnacle, yeah. and then they did more, but at least they did, like, a new thing. They didn't want Digimon Tamers in the goddamn floor. Right, exactly. So I can respect that. Yeah, I can I can still respect Tamers, and I can still respect the original Digimon, because it's not the same characters be doing the same things every single time. It's, you know, it's a thing I don't care about anymore, but at least it's. At least it's not insane. At least it's good memories that we're not Exactly. Hurt. Yeah, yeah. It's not hurt by looking at what it's become. Um, because <laughs> it's yes, yeah. Um, like in ten years, don't be the same as what you know today. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I mainly think, and while I do agree, it should grow up. The main thing I think with um. And I would love to see the Cutie Mark Crusaders grow up, but I think the main thing with the characters actually dying, why we won't see it, is because it brings up too many questions. Like, most shows, mortality is just a, you know, it's a common thing. Most people are humans, they die eventually. But with an immortal character, someone dying brings up the thoughts of, like, you know, well, is the... Immortal character going to outlive everyone, obviously, is already but hundreds we already of had all that. Yeah, exactly. We've already had but all that. But that's why I said I didn't ask for anyone dying. Yeah, know? exactly. You can't quote me on that because I didn't ask for anyone. Right, yeah, I know. I'm but I do saying. want to see the much because I has to go up. I do yeah. very much agree. I'm not that's... saying they should fight now in this season, but yeah. maybe they should in this season if this is the last season, but it is not. But right. that, that arc has to be completed. If that arc yeah. is never completed... Then I'm like honestly gonna be really kind of annoyed with that because it just like if all that act should not be completed, what does that mean? <laughs> right. Well, I I agree, and um, it's it's funny because we had the uh, April Fools like anime looking thing, the cutie whatever. But I mean, honestly, it's basically I think we've already agreed amongst ourselves that that's kind of what um the fifth generation of My Little Pony very well could be, and it, it would work, like, if the, um, if the end of this series was kind of everything coming full circle and the Cutie Mark Crusaders, you know, getting their Cutie Marks, and then the fifth generation is the Adventures of the Cutie Mark Crusaders. I well, the problem with that is... Well, I, I mean, I honestly haven't seen the April Fool's thing you got to me, so I don't even know what the heck we're talking about. Oh, okay. Anyway, I um I got I I don't I want to make comments on it, but because I don't know the context, I don't want to say anything right. more. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. So um, I think it was our general. And I'm glad that we in general agree about the whole season thing. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, so hopefully, I'm definitely crossing my fingers that next episode is a huge adventure. Although I did want to, I did want to mention because we kind of had a negative thought on it last time, and I'm kind of still in between. But I think the thing that's better about the cutie map, uh, as opposed to as you as we uh, compare it to like the little blinker in Oblivion or whatever, is um that it's an actual canon thing. Yeah, okay, like yeah. I, I, yeah. I like that it exists. Okay, but yeah. I've d I did forget to... I believe I forgot to mention this last time on the cutie map. Mm -hmm. The only thing is the... Did I mention this? Um, who made it? Uh, what power is it? <laughs> that, well, I... Th kind of because going like back was... to the episode, it was basically... um, It was basically made by the Tree of Harmony. But... Why does... Like, so, what is the Tree of Harmony? Like, who made the Tree of Half Harmony? And what, where does it come from? Where did it go? Well, I don't know. Uh, that's kind of fan stuff, I think, that uh, we're going to see is fan theories about just, all that. Cause... I mean, because the Tree of Harmony is, like, now it's, like, super powerful. Yeah. Well... 
It's Celestia is just a con artist, <laughs> and she nothing. Did did uh, Celestia like never do anything, and she just takes credit for it to be a harmony sword? Uh, I I don't know, but the elements of harmony are definitely still counting into things, even if they aren't really. Because I mean, what technically gave off the castle was the box, but I think the box came from the tree or. Something. I do know that, but then the two of harmony has a map. I guess I'm just yeah. confused because this map is like. The map is conscience, and then you could be like, okay, it's a tree of harmony that's conscience. Mm. Because, like, yeah. the map gotta know where these things are, and like, why does right. the map want you to fix these things? I guess if it's a tree of harmony, I kinda get that. That kinda makes sense, Actually, but. Yeah, I, I think that does kinda make sense. So I see your point that it has to have some kind of. Like, it gotta have a motivation for why it's right. doing all of this. That's my problem with it. Well. No, I, but, like, I honestly, mm -hmm. what would have like this would never what they would do, but this is what I would have done, and like if I wrote something that was completely not my little pony. Mm -hmm. If the tree of harmony is gonna keep sending you on these quests that are really dangerous for you, then obviously it's evil. <laughs> like I mean, well, like it's throwing you into life danger. Well, no, I I was going to say just the name itself doesn't that kind of explain it. It's the tree of harmony. It's. It's sending them across the land to keep Play harmony. harmony. I yeah. know, but... I mean, why? It's the tree of harmony, but it's like saying, I am the tree of good guys, so I'm going to send you across the land to do good things. Like, yeah. It doesn't explain where you came from or why you do that. Is it like a tree yeah. of chaos that does that to you? <laughs> does this god have like a little blinky that tells him where to go and create chaos? That's an excellent question. Um... And, uh, like, where was it all this time, mm -hmm. right? Does it do this now, not, like, when Celestia and Twilight Luna yeah. were around? Or did Celestia and Luna also get sent to Questia <laughs> by the Tree of Harmony? Like, I'm just saying, mm -hmm. it creates these questions that... It's that problem, because, like, with Celestia, okay, it's like, okay, it's Celestia, she... Like, qu tries to keep order throughout a quest, and we, like, mm -hmm. have, like, ponies be good and all that. Yeah. It, like, it's that one you can, like, easily explain, but when it's something that... is like, supernatural, almost, in a way, but... In the supernatural, in the sense that you don't even know if it is conscious or not, it's just kind of confusing. Hmm. I I suppose it's kind of confusing. I guess I've um, I guess I'm kind of used to the idea, perhaps because I played the um, you know, I played games like you might remember the Legend of Mana, which the Tree of Mana is actually the one that sends you on your quests. But at least it talks to you. Yeah, that is true. It talks to you is like yeah. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't even go up to them like, "Hey, I'm the Jesus tree." <laughs> Which yeah, it's just, it just. I don't know. Yeah, I, uh, I guess my problem is a map. Yeah, I don't understand what is powering the map, and if it's a tree, I don't understand the tree. Yeah, I don't have. Uh, I have nothing to go on on the tree, and all its motivations or its allegiances or anything. <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll see. I just, uh, I don't know. I thought it was a, the kind of thing that fans would be interested in, I don't know, fan fiction stuff. Fan, like, I mean, I am. It does, I, yeah. I mm -hmm. guess in a way, now I'm going against my own word, where I say that my little phone is when it doesn't explain things. Maybe this is better when it doesn't explain things, but maybe it's just like what I wanted. Now I'm asking questions. <laughs> now I'm about the thing about the two of harmony. Right. But I guess for that, I don't even know where to start, honestly. Yeah. Because I thought the tree was kind of dead, but now it's not dead, and I'm confused. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm not sure. That, that's the main thing with the harmony thing. I never liked it. In all fairness, mm -hmm. just I didn't like the whole tree of harmony go mm -hmm. on it. So I'm like biased from the origin. Mm -hmm. Because I like the elements of harmony thing, but then I don't like the tree of harmony thing that they did in season 3. Yeah. Because it came... Because there was nothing hinting toward that being a thing. Like, it's so... In our friend, it can be argued that it was it felt pretty obvious that it was a rewrite, like like yeah. they changed the origins of the tree of the elements of harmony. Yeah, yeah, I I think that's a fair statement. Um, I don't really mind that they like. In all honesty, I don't mind that they did it, but I I do see why they did it. In fact, it's kind of funny thinking back on it. I feel like they kind of tried to do it as a um, figure of change because I think they realized the issue with that the elements of harmony brought up is that um they fix everything with it exactly and when they don't fix anything with it it's automatically a problem because they should be able to fix anything with it you know like chrysalis 
Honestly, plot convenience was the only reason they didn't reach the elements of harmony and beat Chrysalis. Right, yeah, okay. I mean, I did, I did, I did write themselves into that kind of the hole, but then they didn't really want to get rid of the elements of harmony either, so mm. now it just kind of throws us on. I just want to think about it. Mm -hmm. What is the cast is going to be? Okay, I guess we said there's no test, but. Like, okay, let, let, I'm not gonna say there's Death of My Little Pony, but now I'm thinking about it. The cast, like, all the elements of harmony, mm -hmm. like, seeds with the castle, they always have the key mark on them. Right. What, what would, like, the next generation do that? Do they have to, like, paint it over with, like, <laughs> pens? Like, I, like, school, like, do an X uh... over it and just draw the key mark under it. Mm, I'm... Because it's like, you know, these, these castle is really outdated. I can't buy this. There's, like, the key mark from some random. As a woman, like my wife is gonna complain <laughs> and saying that I'm cheating on uh, her. I wonder. I actually have an interesting idea on that already. That perhaps the elements and the tree. That was um, the same tree mark. Yeah, I was kind of considering that. Yeah, they might change the for it might change the form of the cutie mark depending on the current element holder. Okay, you could do that. That yeah. would that would make sense. I like that idea. Cool. I mean, I always like the idea that the elements are not solely bound to the main six because it never implied that effect. It implied the opposite because I think at the beginning it's like, oh yeah, when all of them come together and they all represent these things, they become the elements of harmony. Right, it didn't say exactly. that it has to be these six ponies. Yeah, I mean, in fact, obviously, originally we found that um, Celestia wielded all of the elements of harmony. Yeah, because she's a hex. <laughs> yeah. And she probably lied. Because now we know that she probably lied. Uh, she probably like went up to the tree and kicked it in the fucking tree nuts and stole the elements of harmony. Probably. It sounds like Celestia. She's like, I'll banish my sister, lol. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, I think that's all it went. I yeah. don't mind that it went too long. We talked about the whole universe and that's good. Yeah, we, we talked about a lot. I honestly enjoyed it. It was, um... Yeah, I'm I'm glad I got a lot of that off. And we honestly agreed more than I thought we were going to. Because I thought you, like... It sounded like when we were first going to do this video that you didn't like the episode. But now I know I just, what you didn't I didn't like, like the implication. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what to, Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Because honestly, like we said... That was, the that was funny. Great. Yeah, it was funny and... It was... No, I am correct. Hmm? They have six shovels. Why do they have six shovels, not five? Yeah, Fluttershy carries one, Rarity carries two, and, Tri and, Dri and Rainbow Dash carries three shovels. <laughs> what the fuck are you guys doing uh... with six shovels? <laughs> Rarity, Rarity's dual wielding. Dual wielding shovels. <laughs> hey, with magic, why not? Yeah, that's possible. But she's weak with magic. I don't know. It just that, that, because I saw it right earlier. I actually wanted to move up, but then I saw it. I just saw it wrong. Yeah. Now I saw it again. I'm like, okay. I don't know. Really <laughs> I was. I guess I forgot that Twilight yeah. doesn't come along. Yeah, yeah. I haven't thought too much about it. I don't know either. It's it's, it's a nitpick. Yeah, it's a nitpick. I mean, Twilight Flash. It doesn't even use Shovel. She just uses Animus, which is also slave label. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, maybe some of the animals used shovels, I can go with that too. But, uh, yeah, yeah, either way. Um, so, great episode, great idea for an episode, and... Pinky was fun, forward to Yeah, Pinky was definitely Pinky and Spike were characters of episode, I don't know what the sense for C.O.P. Yeah. Yeah. Pinky and Spike, cop. <laughs> I, I would watch a buddy movie between Pinky and Spike, buddy cop movie. Sounds amazing. How did I get a P out of episode? <laughs> I got it, damn it. <laughs> I don't know. Character of episode, C-O-P. <laughs> Character of... Projector. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. C-O-E. Yeah, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next time.